Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I have a pretty interesting little, not really an article here, but a slideshow of what a dollar could buy you the year you were born. That is the title of this little presentation here. I thought it'd be interesting to go over it with you all so that you can take a look at how prices have gone up and surprisingly enough some prices have gone down and I think the reason for that is because of our technology and how we can do things more efficiently nowadays so let's go ahead and go through this so the first one back in 1945 you could purchase uh, four paperback copies of Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People so you could purchase this book for 25 cents each which today would amount to roughly three dollars and fifty cents or so so as far as buying it comparing it to what you could buy with a quarter back then and what the melt value of the silver in that quarter is today it's still a pretty low price if you could purchase it today for 350 but I think it'd probably be a little more than that all right depending where you buy it from let's see uh, one man's flannel shirt for a dollar back in 1946. Let's see, eight cans of Heinz cream tomato soup for one dollar. It's a little more than that today, I would say. You could buy five boxes of Kellogg's Corn Flakes in 1948 for a dollar. Wow. In 1949, you could buy seven loaves of bread for one dollar. Wow, and today you can buy maybe a, if you get the cheap bread, you could buy maybe a, a third of a loaf or less for a dollar. You could buy four pounds of frozen green beans. Now, I know that when I buy frozen vegetables uh, at the store, I usually pay if they're on for a good price. I think the best price I've paid is like a dollar seventy nine or a dollar ninety nine for a two pound bag of frozen vegetables. You could buy twenty five Christmas cards for a dollar in nineteen fifty one. You could buy a little under three pounds of coffee for one dollar in 1952. You could buy 24 pounds of potatoes for one dollar in 1953. Wow. Let's see. You could buy one pound of T-bone steak for a dollar in 1954. You could buy a slinky in 1955 for a dollar. <laughs> Let's see, you can buy 15 eggs, just a little bit over a dozen for a dollar in 1956. And today, uh, the prices that I'm used to around here, it's about, I want to say, a little more than two times that. You could buy one bath towel in 1957. In 1958, you can buy 25 pounds of celery for a dollar. In 1959, you can buy seven cans of cream corn for a dollar. Nowadays, if you pay less than a dollar for a can of cream corn, it's because they're on sale, usually. In 1960, you can buy three cans of Del Monte peaches. So I did really good on that payday prep. Not this last one, but the one prior, where I got those cans of peaches for 25 cents each. You could buy four boxes of Cheerios for a dollar. Oh, I think I've missed one. Let's see. No, I didn't. In 1962, you could buy five fast food hamburgers. And I bet you the hamburgers back then were a lot better than the ones they are now, that they sell now. You could get three pints of blueberries for a dollar. You can get a ticket for one car at the drive-in in a movie theater. Drive-in movie theater for a dollar. I actually just went to the movies yesterday, last night, with my son. And we went and watched that movie Meg 
the Megalodon. It was really good, by the way. I won't do any spoilers, but it was really good. I paid $19.45 per ticket. Granted, I paid for the IMAX version, which is a couple dollars more, but still, I ended up paying almost $20 per ticket. Ketchup, five bottles of Hanes ketchup in 1966 for a dollar. I think I missed these. 80 ounces of frozen french fries for a dollar in 1965. In 1967, four loaves of bread. Look at that now. In 1967, four loaves of bread. It was seven loaves of bread not too long before then, a few years back. I'm not going to go all the way back, but remember we went from seven loaves to four loaves now. In 1968, you can get 20 Hershey bars for $1. In 1969, just under 3 gallons of gas for $1. In 1970, a tube of toothpaste for $1. 71, 3 pounds of cranberries. In 72, you can buy 2 cantaloupes for $1. In 73, one box of Eggo frozen waffles for a dollar. I would say now they're probably about twice that much, if not a little more. In 74, you can buy one Big Mac and one hamburger at McDonald's for one dollar. In 75, one bottle of NyQuil for a dollar. In 76, a package of Oreo cookies for a dollar. In 77, a box of Bisquick for a dollar. In 78, one pound of ground beef for a dollar. And as you all know, a pound of ground beef nowadays, from the cheapest to the most expensive, you're going to pay anywhere between. Uh, let me see, I just bought some ground beef a couple of days ago, and I think I paid $3.50, $3.50 something per pound. One bottle of Hershey's syrup in 1979. Two pounds of turkey in 1980. Two pounds of margarine in 81. One liter of soda of Coca-Cola in 82. Seven ears of corn in 83. Last time I seen ears of corn on sale, which has been pretty frequent here throughout the summer, I think they were ranging anywhere between 60 to like 79 cents per ear. One box of 200 count Kleenex in 84. One half gallon of milk in 85. Oh, did we miss one? Let's take a look. 86. One pound of kiwi fruit in 86. Two cans of SpaghettiOs in 87. Just under a pound and a half of roasting chicken in 88. One box of Pop-Tarts in 89. Two cans of tuna in 90. Uh, they're about twice that much now. If you're lucky you can find a can of tuna for around 99 cents or a little over a dollar nowadays. Five pounds of sugar in 1991. Now you're lucky if you can get a four pound bag for less than four dollars. Unless you buy it in bulk, you're really paying a lot. Two liter bottle of Pepsi Cola in 1992. One pint of fresh blueberries in 1993. And you remember back, I forgot what year it was, but you can get three pints. Now in 93 is one pint. Now one pint of blueberries, if, if I guess, is over $3 at the store. In 1994, you can get a half gallon of Minute Maid orange juice for a dollar. You can get a 22 ounce loaf of Wonder Bread for one dollar and 95. You notice how now we are down to one from, I believe it was four in the 60s, and then from four to seven loaves of bread uh, before that for one dollar. But even nowadays, there's no way you can find a loaf of bread for a dollar nowadays, especially the 22-ounce loaves. Now they usually come in one-pound loaves. In 96, a 24-ounce bottle of Hunt's tomato ketchup. In 97, a large bunch of broccoli. In 
and 98 one dozen eggs. It's probably about twice that much, I would say. No, more than twice that much, because I buy a dozen and a half for just shy of three dollars. So yeah, definitely more than twice that much. A can of B&M baked beans, 1999 for one dollar. Three pounds of bananas for a dollar. Nowadays, you're looking at about anywhere between 69 cents to like 99 cents a dollar. Bananas. 99 cents a pound for bananas, not a dollar. In 2001, you can get three stamps, first class stamps. Now I think they're more than 50 cents. In 2002, you can get two pounds of seedless watermelon for a dollar. I remember back in the early 90s, and I remember this because it was so cheap, but I remember back in the early 90s, like 1992, which was right after I married my wife, we could fill all of our cupboards in the house with food for less than $100. And I remember back then, we can buy a large watermelon for like 10 cents a pound. In 2003, you can buy an 8 ounce pack of Philly cream cheese for a dollar. Uh, nowadays, you can find them for just shy of two dollars, and if they're on sale, for like a dollar and a quarter. In 2004, you can get two heads of iceberg lettuce for a dollar. I just looked at lettuce here a few days ago, and it was just shy of two dollars per head. It was like a dollar ninety-eight. 2005, you can get a copy of the New York Times. I don't even know what the New York Times sells paper prints anymore. Because they are, all the mainstream media is pretty much going away. A box of Ranzoni pasta in 2006 for a dollar. And I can say that nowadays, I'm not sure if the ingredients are cheaper. But nowadays, I can get a pound of pasta for less than a dollar. It depends if they're on sale or not. In 2007, you can get two sticks of Lando Lakes butter for a dollar, which means that that's about two dollars a pound. Right now, if you're lucky, you can get a pound of butter for around three fifty. I've seen them as high as just shy of six dollars for regular butter, like not the organic stuff or anything like that. In 2008, you can get a 15 ounce can of Green Giant corn for a dollar. Which is actually not too bad because uh, nowadays it's less than that. You can probably find a can of corn. I think the cheapest I've seen, not Green Giant, off brand, you know, like the like the supermarket brand. It's like 60 cents or something like that. But I'm not sure if they're 15 ounce cans. Just under two pounds of potatoes for a dollar today. Remember back at the potatoes that we saw? I forgot what year, but it was 24 pounds for one dollar. Now you can get just under two pounds for a dollar. Two four ounce jars of beech nut baby food for a dollar. A little more than half a pound of Granny Smith apples for a dollar in 2011. Five packets of Kool Aid. I'm not sure how much these are nowadays, but I. Uh, I want to say it's probably about the same price, depending on what size they are. Yeah, the same, the ones that you have to add sugar to. They're probably about the same price. A little less than a half, sorry, a little less than a pound of squash for a dollar in 2013. Uh, for a dollar, you can get a can of tomato soup. And that's about the same thing now. A slice of New York pizza. I have no idea how much a slice of New York pizza is nowadays. A brain dead New Yorker. Let us know what a slice goes for nowadays. All right. In 2015, you can get one for a dollar in New York, in New York City. Wendy's small classic frosty for a dollar in 2016. I think they're probably about the same thing now. Oh, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. I'm not going to go into this article because that's not what it was about. So, yeah, just to give you a little snapshot of what 
things look like, uh, you know, in the years past as far as how much the dollar could purchase you and how much it can purchase you today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to be it for today for me. I might do a quick video later on, depending on how things go uh, with uh, completing the uh, walls inside my storage area that I'm building. So if I don't see you guys today again, then we will talk tomorrow during the Q&A. All right, so having said that, I hope you guys have a good day today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a like and share. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Continue to share, please, because this is how we're going to reach more people. Okay, remember, this is about reaching people and waking them up to the fact that we need to prepare, you know, in more ways than one. So please share. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'm sorry to leave you off with this face. So having said that, many blessings to all of you. Uh, okay, well, I'm sorry. Let's start. Let's do it right. Okay, let's do it right. Uh, remember to be good to each other, ladies and gentlemen. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.